Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on your Motorola okay, Zoom. Okay, before we begin, you must have done or how to flash a custom recovery image on your Motorola Zoom procedure. If you haven't, then you need to click on this link right here to head to that. Once you've done that, and obviously the preceding routing procedure in front of it, then you can come back to this procedure and we can continue. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing you need is you need to pick the ROM that you want. So you can click on this link here to head to our Android ROM section. And then scroll down till you find your device, which is the Motorola Zoom. You're going to click on that and then choose a ROM from there. Save it to your computer, uh, but do not extract it. Leave it as a .zip file. Okay, so with an SD card in your Motorola Zoom, we're going to click ROM Manager reboot into recovery, click OK, and wait for it to reboot. OK, once in recovery mode, we're going to use the volume buttons and scroll down to mounts and storage, use the power button on the back to select it, and then we're going to scroll down and select mount USB storage. Now what this is going to do with this current curl that we're using is it's going to actually mount the SD card. So click that. Okay, then on the computer, we're going to have a drive up here. This is our SD card. So we're going to double click it. You'll see I have nothing on my SD card right now. Then we're going to take the zoomrom.zip file, whatever it may be, it doesn't have to be named that obviously, um, not extract it, and we're going to just drag it over to the SD card, like so. Not inside any folders on the SD card, just on the SD card itself. Okay, and then we're going to click unmount storage, go back, and then uh, normally you would do a backup right now, so you click on backup and restore, and then click backup. Um, and wait for it to backup your current ROM. But, for some reason, that just reboots the device right now. Eventually, uh, the Clockwork Mod Recovery will be fixed, um, and that will actually do a backup. So you're going to want to do that once that's fixed, otherwise it's just going to reboot your device. But uh, we wanted to show you what you would normally do if you were loading a ROM. So, we're going to go back into recovery mode and continue with the process. Okay, so now you're going to scroll down to zip from SD card, then choose zip from SD card, and you'll see your .zip file up there at the top for the ROM. This also works for kernels or anything else you want to flash that is flashable via Clockwork Mark Recovery. So then you're going to click uh, power on that, it'll start to flash. Um, if this was a kernel, it would flash your kernel and then you'd be all set. If this is a ROM, it would flash the ROM and you'd be all set. Um, then you hit reboot system now to get back into your regular home screen. Um, at the time of doing this video, there aren't any ROMs out yet. Uh, they're waiting for source code from Honeycomb, amongst some other things. Um, but this is how you would do it once those ROMs become available. So there you go.